Good morning, man. 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Blitz of the Day, we're going to focus on how to get double edge pressure out of the Big Nickel Bear formation. So to do this, we're going to use uh, a play in the Big Nickel Bear called the Storm Red. This is a very versatile play, and there's a lot of things that we can do with this to make it even more successful in-game. So Storm Red, what we have here is we have our basic pressure concepts, and we're going to make a couple of adjustments to this play to make it better uh, suited for what we want to do with it. What I like to do is I like to come out make sure you base align your coverage so that everyone aligns properly. Then what you want to do is you want to crash your defensive line to the left. You want to globally re-blitz your right of screen outside linebacker. And then since you're manually controlling your middle linebacker on all the following plays we listed this week, we're just going to put him into a hook zone just because, but typically he is going to, we're going to user him like he's in a purple zone. And we're going to sit in the A-gap once again. And the snap of the ball, we're just going to jump out into the flats on the right side of the screen. Snap go, and then we just jump out to the outside. Okay, let's take a look at instant replay to show you exactly what just happened on this play. So the cool part about the Storm Red, it has very good underneath coverage, and the pressure setup is very simple. Um, just a couple quick adjustments, and we can send two-way pressure at the quarterback. So here we're sending two-way pressure. Um, we're user controlling the middle linebacker. Remember, I said we like to put him in a yellow zone, but we're playing as if he was in a flat or a purple zone to the right side of the field because that safety is going to come down into the box like so. And so now really all we have to worry about is those quick out routes, quick dig passes that opponents will throw. The pressure gets in about really actually pretty fast because of the nice blitz angles the Storm Red provides us. And you see here again, two guys free. Why is it important to get two guys free in this play? Well, you want to get two guys free because if they block a halfback, so say they block the right of screen halfback here. Well, we're going to do the same setup again. We like to base the line. I like to just um, globally re-blitz my right of screen linebacker, crush my line to the left, and then put my middle linebacker in any zone I want. But remember, he is my user control player. I'm going to user him up into the A-gap here and the snap of the ball. Play goes, and we're still going to get that heavy pressure off the left edge. Even though they blocked a running back and thought they picked up the pressure, in reality, it was actually, you know, we still are going to get that same pressure because we're sending heavy pressure off of the left edge and the right edge. The yellow zones from Storm Red are very good, in my opinion, for playing the quick underneath passing. And you see at this point right here, where are you throwing that ball? Very good coverage from this play, especially when they have to block a running back. So, guys, that is how to send two-way pressure in the nickel 3 through 5 bear formation. For more setups and tips and tricks and Madden 25 content in general, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post four videos a day. Hopefully, that will give you enough content you need to become a little bit better at Madden 25. That's my goal, to make everybody that watches my videos better instantly. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or need any help or more support, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you had some positive or negative feedback, I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. Thanks for watching again today, guys. And I really, and I really appreciate your support.